destroy the child, corrupt them all. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, trolls and citizens, the JJs and PPs. This is your boy, X Lover Newman, uh, giving you uh, another introspective, fun video that uh, we can sit down and talk about. Why are you here? Uh, before you watch this video, pause it, get a snack, get dinner, uh, get whatever, whatever um, makes you feel comfy because, you know, this is going to be a semi like a, a, a podcast in solitude. Um, you know, I, I don't do YouTube, as I said before, you know, welcome to my channel, you know, you, you have to subscribe, you know, I don't do that shit. We speak truthfully here, uh, and we speak, we, I, I give the hood review on my channel. Um, it's one of the reasons why I'm the best on YouTube. Um, anyway, so get a snack, get a drink, get whatever you want. All right? Then come back. We'll wait for you, okay? Go. Pause it, go. Don't be scared. And come back. And now that you've paused the fucking video, wasted everyone's time, and you're back, we can begin the conversation. Um, this is just going to be kind of, a, hopefully, a quick video if it's not quick then it isn't. Uh, fuck you and your feelings. Um, <clears throat> we've seen photos of the Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. Um, and honestly, I am really, really fucking happy and scared at the same time. Uh, what do I mean by happy and scared? Well, okay, with DC, we have had nothing but shit. Um, I probably was the only one in the world that loved BVS. I really enjoyed BVS. Um, I thought it was unique. I thought it was different. I thought the transitions were innovative. I thought the music was innovative. And I thought the acting was very, very good as well. Uh, never was a Superman fan. Um, never been a fan of men in thongs. Um, that is usually the comic gay community and the Anna gay community uh, that enjoys seeing men's uh, balls rise uh, into the air. And, you know, the Anna gay community, the Anna comic gay community's cocks will rise several inches, um, several, three, four inches. Uh, and they become very erect from superheroes and particularly males and tights. For me, Superman was always borderline homosexual, borderline racist, uh, and uh, borderline mm, uh, maybe some kind of uh, a floil bread, uh, you know, uh, London broil or, or London meat, meat packers. And Joker for me and Batman and Batman's universe, Dick Grayson, Barbara, um, Barbara, um, um you know, all, all the great, amazing characters, Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, uh, Bane, I can go on and on and on. Um, Batman is definitely my top four favorite superheroes of all time. Uh, for me, it's Spider-Man, Black Panther, Batman. Um, and then four would be, uh, you know, discussable, really. Uh, because my fourth superhero is either Goku or Vegeta. It's either or. Um, but those are my top four. Like, if you said to me, who's the top four superheroes you would have, you'd have to... You can't live without, you know, it would be Black Panther, Spider-Man, Batman, and um, probably Goku over Vegeta. Um, and these are just worlds that I can't live without. Joker, for me, I was, I'm, I'm, I collect DC comics and I read the DC comics, I enjoy it. Uh, the DC animated movies are the best uh, superhero, one of the best superhero animated movies of all time. Marvel has never even touched DC's animated movies 
But when it comes to DC's live action movies, uh, the casual fans and the nerdist of nerds, um, AKA virgins, uh, hate DC and I can't blame them. Uh, I saw Suicide Squid, uh, I saw Justice, Justice Dweebs, uh, Man of Steel, all uh, unappealing, unattractive, unsexual, and unreligious uh, experiences. So I see Joaquin Phoenix, and mind you, me, I'm a super duper admirer of Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, I remember first seeing him in the Signs movie uh, with Mel Gibson, and you know, I was like, this, this fucking dude's got it. Like, he's just got it. He's got the look. He's got the, the attitude. He's got the charisma. Uh, I'm not going to say he's badass because that's an anagate term, you know, badass, you know, men calling other men uh, badasses. Um, you know, it's, it, it's a reason why I'm starting to think some of my friends are sus, um, EGL and Wicked in specific. Uh, you can go subscribe to their channel in the description. Um, I'll find out if they're sus to you as well. Uh, but anyway, that's enough. Still, my boys, uh, peace out, homies. Uh, see you when I see you in the streets. Um, I saw Joaquin Phoenix's picture and immediately I got excited. And I've got to be honest, in a straight uh, masculine way, my, 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 my wiener uh, became educated. Um, I love the way he looks as the Joker without the makeup. He already looks dope. He already looks disturbed. He already looks like that neighbor that you see that you, you know, uh, uh, definitely, definitely call, keep the children away. Um, and, and, you know, have the, 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 the neighborhood call on alert. Um, he looks fucking like the Joker without makeup. And Joaquin Phoenix, for those of you who do not know, Joaquin Phoenix is like, I would say, like a baby Johnny Depp. And what I mean by that is it's like Tupac and Biggie. You know, for me personally, uh, Tupac and Biggie were pretty much just as good as each other. But if you forced me to choose one, it would be Pac. Uh, Johnny Depp being Pac, Joaquin Phoenix being Biggie. And that's not in a racist term, you know, I'm not saying that a uh, pink dick white devil uh, is inside um, or outside of a big fat black uh, gangster and, and vice versa. Um, that's not what I mean when I say that. What I mean is, is that Joaquin Phoenix is like close to that legendary status, like that guy that kind of doesn't get maybe the credit he deserves. But he could make a really amazing Joker. This could finally be it. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, wow, this could finally be it. This could finally be the beginning of a great DC universe. And it's very possible, very, very, very possible that Joaquin Phoenix could be the next Heath Ledger. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know? But ex lover, you're bugging. The next, the next, the next Heath Ledger, how dare you say his name in vain? You know, you know, you know, you, you people are, are fucking ridiculous. As soon as someone dies, they're all of a sudden uh, 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 a, a, a fucking a, a Norse god. You know? You know? Uh, uh, look, Heath Ledger is untouchable. Him, Tim, him, and Nick, uh, and um, not Nicholas Cage, um, Jack Nicholson. Him and Jack Nicholson's Joker are my favorites. Uh, fuck Jared Gato. Uh, he can piss off. I don't like that dude at all. I kind of liked his music, but overall, he was just—he's just a phony dude. I knew he was phony. And as soon as we heard during the Suicide Squid movie that he was sending fucking dead animals in boxes and used condoms um, and, 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 and uh, allegedly child pornography uh, to um, 
to the cast members. I was like, get the get this dude the fuck out of here. You didn't even do as good as Nicholas. I mean, Jack Nicholson. And Jack Nicholson didn't have to do all that to go in character. Such a diva. But anyway, Joaquin Phoenix can possibly save the DC universe. Joaquin Phoenix can possibly make this thing happen. And this could possibly be the right move that DC is finally making. Um, you know, Wonder Woman also was a horrible movie. I thought the acting was terrible. The only reason why that movie was hyped was because of the feminist movement. Um, and for those going, oh, ex lover, you're such a sexist, you know, you're, you're such a sexist for saying that. Um, news alert, men in the world, but let's just talk about America. Men in America have supported cool female leads for centuries. I'm sorry, but who was it again that used to call dudes who collected comic books and watched cartoons, nerds and virgins and losers and no lives? Oh yeah, that was woman, right. And then you had men saying that those dudes were losers too because they were trying to be cool with the woman. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, uh, ladies of 2018, men since the 1930s have been super duper Wonder Woman fans. Men have been Lara Croft fans. Men have been Batgirl fans and comic, I mean, um, uh, Catwoman fans. Men have been Princess Leia fans. Men have been Balma fans. But men have been Underworlds, uh, uh, Kate Beckinsale underworld uh fans like men have created the female leads and the male leads because cartoons and comic books were once a thing that was mostly male it's why those universes and those companies geared towards the boys because the boys were making up 95 maybe 97 percent of the comic book anime com uh, manga all of that that they were making up most of that group. I'm gonna go with 97% were boys. It was very rare to run into a girl that liked comic books or cartoons. They had no clue what it was. It was very rare. And then towards the late 2000s is when it started to becoming cool. That's when I noticed it. Like I had this, uh, all my like Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays and my Bruce Lee and I had uh, FMA and Spider-Man and Batman and and uh, Spawn and I had like all these like cool superheroes and and you know my the, the, the girl that I was dating at the time before she uh, uh, decided to uh, suck my uh, strudel noodles uh, in a uh, religious way or maybe a comic book way uh, she saw all my stuff and she was just impressed and she was like, oh, yeah, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan I'm a huge Batman fan like we talked about those two all day You know and then that's when it became common and then the cosplay it became porn and then oh, this is cool now Because let's be honest in society women and black people make things cool That's the truth And Asians would be the on third on that list but it's mostly like a woman and black people. If we make shit cool, me being a woman and a black person, a black woman, Shaniqua. Um, and that goes into my, 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 my frights that they're gonna ruin possibly the Joker. Very afraid, very scared for my life. And, and honestly on a contemplating suicide. Um, I, I really I really hope they don't screw this up. I mean, will they? Will they screw it up? Will this become an awful movie? Will this be a good movie? Will this be a great movie? Because if this is Suicide Squid, if this is BVS, if this is Wonder Woman, if this is Man of Steel, if this is Justice Dweebs, oh man, then it's over. You know, I'm not even excited for Shazam. But I will give DC one last try with this Phoenix movie. Phoenix movie? Joaquin Phoenix. 
this Joker movie. I will give them one more try. Just one. If this movie sucks, if this movie is garbage, if there's no connection, no feeling, no great music, innovative, unique music, if there's no good relationships with the characters, if there's no great character growth and build, if there's not a great villain or a great protagonist, if it's not a great cast, great writers, great directors, great producers, then it's not gonna go well. And I'm very scared because I love Joker. I hold the Batman series so dear to my heart. I mean, man, the first thing I fell in love with is when my father was sitting on the couch with some popcorn and said, hey, you want some popcorn? And I said, sure. And I looked at the TV and he was watching Batman Mask of Phantasm. Ooh, man, what a fucking great movie. What a great movie, what a classic. You don't see those kind of movies anymore, you know? DC. But but then I'm I'm with DC, I'm just hearing so many dumb things that they're still doing. I don't know if it's true, I don't know if it's rumors. But at this point you gotta like look at everything and go, it's it's possible because DC has just been dumb for over seven years now. We had MCU start in 2009. It's 2018, y'all. And we're still itching and fighting and going crazy over Infinity War Part 2. We had Black Panther come out. And Black Panther outsold Justice Dweeb's entire run in three days. Three or four days. One of those. When the world didn't even know who Black Panther was. When Chadwick Boseman, the lead character of the movie, wasn't even that popular. I loved him already. I saw him in James Brown. But, because I'm a huge James Brown fan. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we didn't know who Chadwick Boseman was. America didn't care who he was. Now Chadwick Boseman is like America's loved treasure their chocolate dream. He's the swirls in their brownie mix now. And DC has the A-list cast, A-list superheroes, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman in one movie. And you don't do well? See, that tells me that the audience is sick of it. I told you my own grandmother who doesn't who doesn't even know the difference between Marvel and DC. My grandmother asked me when Batman and Black Panther were going to get together. You know? And if you thought that sexually, you you might be right. Um She doesn't have a bull in the fight, a dog in a fight. She doesn't, she doesn't have a dog in a fight. So no one could say, oh, she's just biased to Marvel. No, the audience is sick of what DC is doing. It's really obvious and painfully obvious. DC, you are bringing Joker, one, arguably, the best villain of all time in cartoons and anime. Just cartoons, period. Arguably one of the best, not arguably one of the best, sorry. He is one of the best villains of all time and arguably the best villain of all time. No, I am not retarded. I am not special. I am just a little high. <sighs> you have the Joker. You have the A-game, DC. You have the thriller of cartoons. You have the purple rain 
of cartoons. You have the respect, R-E-S-P-C-T, of cartoons. You have Dream On, Aerosmith, of cartoons. You have Tupac's California Love, of cartoons. You have I'm Not Gonna Write You a Love Song, cause you have one, and you need one, cartoons. You have the cream of the crop, the queen's another one bites the dust. You have the earth, wind, and fire September of villains, the Joker. In other words, what I'm saying is you have the hit. You have the one, Smash Mouth. All star, get your game on, go play. That's what you have. You have a song that everybody knows. You have the Joker. DC, if you ruin this, if you fuck this up, if you take what's inside our hearts, the strings that hold our hearts still, and you snap those strings together, forming a KKK rally, and then all of a sudden, in the KKK rally, the three posters that are used are three can, uh, three of the Kardashians. And then all of a sudden you become a weird amphibious dolphin from that racism that you have. And you go into the dolphin world and you bring racism into their minds and you program them to be racist because you want racism to, racism to exist in every field of life. And then out of nowhere, these dolphins become racist and they start saying nigger and they start saying this and this and that, chinks or white cracker or this and this and that, you know, all the racial terms that offend people. You will lose us and we will become your enemy, your Thanos. That's what we will become. DC, do this right. I'm scared. I'm really scared of what this movie is gonna be. Joaquin Phoenix is one of the best actors of all time. You have an A-list actor. You have a dope actor. Use him wisely. And Joaquin Phoenix, I hope you bring it. I hope you show these people, remind these people why you are one of the top 10 best actors of all time. You my boy, Joaquin Phoenix, who do who? All right. I'm gonna leave some more movie discussions for another day because this movie got too long. So this is just gonna be a Joker video. AKA movie. We'll see where this goes. You know, I'm, I'm just scared. He looks great though. I like the clothes that Joaquin Phoenix was wearing for the Joker. The way he walks is perfect for the Joker. Like he's disturbed. I, I just really hope this is a good movie. It has to be, or we'll never see the light again. If you like this video, um, honestly, you're a moron. Uh, so hit that uh, dislike button. If you didn't like this video, hit that like button um, because you're also a moron. And if you watch this video and just enjoyed all of it, um, you a hoe. Love you guys. Peace, love, and be wild. Peace.